Today on Nation, we are talking about the tips and tricks to land those commercial and route window cleaning jobs. Hopefully you can pull a couple things out of it. We're going to talk about it. I love route and I hope you like route too. Either way, stick around for WCR Nation. What's going on everybody? Jersey here from WCR Nation, the window cleaning podcast, and you're here. What's going on? This is the greatest podcast that I put on <laughs> about window cleaning. Uh, but no, if it's your first time here, thanks for checking us out. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope it doesn't suck, and I hope you watch all of them. We're way over 100 now, and these are all half-hour podcasts, so binge away, my friends. Binge away. It is available anywhere podcasts are available. Search it, WCR Nation. It's also available on YouTube if you want to watch. If you don't, it's fine with me. Listening is just as good as watching. There's nothing really I do that you need to watch, but either way... There you go. There's some options for you. And if you are one of the nation, one of the cool kids and somebody who buys all their supplies through me at Window Cleaning Resource, what's going on? It is because of you that I get to have name brand items, which, by the way, is one of my new favorite things is that every time somebody shoots me a text like, hey, what's up? Everything's in my cart. Put in my order, man. Watch Nation. They always tell me what I can buy with the money from it. It's great. Uh, this week was uh, name brand toys from uh, Jacob Dennis. But anyway, if you want to order stuff through me, that would be like a virtual awesome high five of awesomeness. Uh, my number direct is 862-312-2026. That is a sell. Text me, like I said, throw it all in your cart. Shop all night. Costs you nothing extra to have me put it in. But I love it. Big or little, doesn't matter. Anyway. Thank you guys very, very much for letting me put that in. Thanks for killing it in general on comments on YouTube with the thumbs up, with the reviews on our iTunes. You guys are just killing it. I love it. Very, 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 very much appreciate it. And of course, like I said, appreciate you guys letting me put orders in for you. Cool. Well, some shout outs for this week is Steve Jagman. What's going on, man? Of course, Jacob Dennis, like I said, name brand toys. Uh, Dan Campbell with Emerald City Window Cleaning. What's going on, man? And uh, Matthew Clabeau. If I pronounced it right, fancy last name. I don't know. I usually butcher names, so either way, I'm sorry. But what's going on, you guys? Hey, thanks for just being awesome, everybody there. And if uh, you want a shout out, just order supplies through me, man. I pick random people, put them in there, and you are semi famous in front of no one. So there you go. But I really genuinely appreciate it, guys. Um, but today we are talking about the tips and tricks with selling route window cleaning. Now, this is kind of more specific to route window cleaning, which if you don't know, which you should know, I love route, love route. Route window cleaning is great. And the reason is frequency. We don't have frequency in our, in our industry. We just don't. And I'm from Wisconsin. If you guys don't know the backstory on me is, uh, I moved like three years ago to North Carolina and uh, it is super amazingly warm and awesome here but in Wisconsin it's cold and people don't call you for like three four months so uh, in Wisconsin it was much 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 more important to um, have that frequency but it is important no matter where you are that's why I love route now you're not making $400 an hour with route I get it but you're getting that same route every week or every two weeks and that my friends is killer so I love route. I hope you like route. And if you're doing window cleaning uh, and you're not doing route, there's a lot of people who dislike route because they say they don't make enough money. Getting into route is a lot slower and I guess you don't make as much money getting into it because you have to wait until those routes are tight. Like the tighter you make a route, meaning like you have a place here, here, and here, then you start making money. In the very beginning when you have one here and then you have one 15 minutes away and, you have, and you're building those routes... You're making less money. It takes a little bit of time, but once you're in, you're in like Flint, man. So go out there and, and sell route. Tell me if you're a route guy, too. If you're on YouTube, that's where we talk. Comment down below. Tell me how many jobs you're doing every week on route, because I want to know. I just want to hear. Makes me happy to uh, talk back and forth with you guys. But here's some of the tips and tricks for route. The biggest thing about route is that you have to be prepared. And you have to do route by going in. 
And some people will go, well, you can sell anything over the phone, or you can sell anything uh, sending postcards. And yes, I guess you can, but not route. You will not be as efficient with route. It just, you won't. And if you are, man, high five. I want to talk to you because that would be awesome. But for the most part, you got to stop in and talk. You have to drop some material off. You kind of have to go through all that. And I'm going to explain kind of my quick process on that. But go back and watch uh, episodes on route. We have a few different ones now on kind of the process of selling and all that. But I want to give with some tips and tricks. And the tip number one for selling routes, or at least how I do it. I'm just a guy with the microphone, so take it with a grain of salt. But hopefully it'll help you is you have to have carbonless copy forms with you. Now, I know that's like old school technology. Like, what? We do everything on computers. I get it. But here's some benefits to having that. And before you shoot me emails and say, hey, where do you get all your forms? I order them from like N, uh, ncrforms.com, I think. I'm not sponsored or anything like that, but go check them out. They have really good stuff and they're fast and cheap. Um, but we have a two part form. And our two-part forms are half sheets, because that's really all the, the sheet you actually need. But when you're selling a route job, you go up to the windows, you count the windows. We're going to be at a dollar a pane per side, so I'm going to put that down there. i got a category on there for name, store name. I have the address, phone number, rep, if you have more than one salesperson, which would be you or the other salesperson, as I have an eyelash in my eye here. Um, and then you have exterior window cleaning, interior window cleaning, or uh, exterior window cleaning, interior and exterior window cleaning, and pressure washing, front area, other, whatever you want. And then at the bottom, or in the corner, usually, we have a little section that shows frequency. Weekly, bi-weekly, or once a month. That's far up. Anything more than once a month is not route. That is commercial. It's different. You can't build a route around something like that. So I put that at the very bottom. I put rep signature. Rep signature. Underneath that, I put um, authorized signature. That's it. That's all I got. And I'm going to explain what I do. When I walk up to a window, before I talk to anybody or even go inside, I count up the windows. Boom. 20 windows. All right. $20 outside windows. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk in with that. If the inside, if there's nothing by the glass, I'm going to put the inside in for another $20. So ins and outs would be... Uh, 20 windows would be $19 yeah, because I got to have that sexy number. Ins and outs would be $39, okay? And I go in and I write all the information I can for the top has to have the name on there because I'm going to tell you why. Got to at least have the name on there and then walk in. And I'm going to hand them this with my other material. And I'm going to rip it and I give them the yellow copy because that is the copy. The white is the original. I keep the white. Now I go on with my spiel, hey, I'm in the area, we do this, this, and this, this, we'd love to do your windows, here's the pricing, I'd love to get you set up. Now, once I hand them that, there's other pieces to that that we're going to talk about in a second, but once I hand them that information, now I have a half sheet of paper in my hand that is flipped over on my clipboard, and I use, I'm going to show you right now, because I have it right here, this kind of clipboard. If you're not watching on YouTube, it's just a simple clipboard that is like aluminum and uh, you open it up, it holds the stuff. That's what I use. Very, very simple, but I use that. Now I'm going to take that paper after I get it back from them and on the back, I write down all my notes. This is how I put notes on the back of that page. If I talk to him, I say, oh, is the owner or manager or not? Like, oh, how can I help you? I say, oh, are you the owner? No, I'm the day manager, Teresa. Okay, Teresa, nice to meet you. My name is Jersey. All that stuff is I'm, I'm going and put it in my head so that as soon as I turn around and walk out, I'm going to write down the date. Today's date, talked to, if you're into abbreviations, TT, Teresa, manager, said she would hand this on to the owner or whatever. Because now I'm going to know when I do my follow-up. Here's another part of this whole process is the follow-up is more important than all this. So we're planning and laying the groundwork for this. That's why you save all that information. But it allows you to now have a sheet so that you don't have to remember. What did I tell you again? 
Oh, 20, they, it doesn't matter. I know now the price because I have the original. I know the date that it was in there because the date's written on the very top of the page plus the notes on the back of who I talked to. I have all of that. And now I have this half sheet. And at the end of my day, I'm going to have a whole ton of those half sheets because I busted my hump door knocking on places, right? Now, when I have that, I'm going to put it into something called the ticklet folder that we'll talk about in a little bit. But I have an actual copy of that. All the information that I could possibly get from them, from phone number to name to everything, is all on there. That's how you make a good follow-up, right there. That's why I use uh, carbonless copy forms. It allows you to write notes in the back, and it allows you to keep that for your records and uh, sell and follow up later. Tip number one, if you're not using it, and you're doing it either on one side or your verbals or whatever, I'm telling you, change it and you'll love it changing that over to those. And they're cheap. Go back. NCRforms.com, I believe it was. But the number two tip and trick for selling route is that you need to sign up the people. If they do sign on that time, you need to give them a free cleaning. And this is one of those things where it's like, and if you buy right now, you get two for the price of one. This is what I do. Now, when I'm in there and say it went good and say it's part of that 10 to 15 percent of the jobs that actually sign when you go in and yes it's that low um you go in and they go you know what we were looking for a window cleaner i just happen to be the owner and uh i'm glad you're here your pricing looks good let's actually sign up or if they're on the fence if they just go that easy and it was an easy sell i go man that's awesome great well we'll start the service as soon as go into your calendar but if they're like oh well i don't know you know like we're looking at switching. We're trying to change. Blah, blah, blah. I go, hey, um, so here's what we can do. Just as a thank you, if you do sign up with us, I'll give you that first cleaning for free. Just so first you can see how awesome we are. See if you like it. And it's just a little bit of a thanks to say, hey, thanks for giving us a shot. That right there opens the door. If you know anything about sales, if you give something free, subliminally people do feel like they should give something back. And hopefully that's them trying you out because you know you're the best window cleaning company for them. So it's a nice little perk and it allows them to kind of try before they buy if you want to be, you know, kind of corny. But you let them have that first cleaning free and it actually works its way back to you in how happy they are. Now, with our carbonless copy, those are agreements, not contracts. I always say, if we're providing an awesome service at an awesome price, you're going to want to stay with us no matter what a piece of paper says. People always ask. That's my spiel. But what I say too is, is to say, with this free trial too, take a look. If you don't like what we did, then you know at least then you know we won't have to get too into this. People are scared. Oh man, what if they just take that free cleaning and oh man, they're gonna just take the well. You've already given them the free cleaning at the point of pushing them over the edge to do it. You've helped them understand. Hey, let's give it a shot. You entice them to do that. Most of the time, they're not gonna just do the free cleaning. I've never had it once where somebody did get the free first cleaning and uh, stop service. It's nice. It's one of those like uh, act now, get this and that and this kind of thing. So giving away a free cleaning as a thank you makes you sound genuine. It makes you sound not money hungry and it really does set you apart. Here's the other thing you have to remember with route cleaning. When you're doing a house and you show up all dressed up with your fancy nice shirt, embroidered hats, clean and smelling amazing with your hair did and your trucks not looking like dumpsters awesome they look at it and go this is a legit guy let's do it well you are now selling route the problem with selling route is there's a bunch of other people who are doing it for beer or crack money and uh, you don't want to be lumped into those uh, categories unless you like beer and crack then maybe but keep it to yourself right but what you want to do is seem like a legit business, and that is one of them. Because all the people who are going on, they're like, hey, I'll clean your windows for $5. They just want the $5. Part of that, a part of people's hesitation is like, I don't want to switch. I don't know if this guy's legit. You've already showed up in a nice uh, shirt. You've had your hats, your logo, your everything. you got all the material I'm going to talk about. But the last little bit is like, this guy isn't money hungry. He doesn't need the money. He's building his business. Of course, he doesn't even want the money for the first cleaning. It really, really does help. So try it. Hopefully, it helps you land some more of my favorite kind of gigs, which are route gigs. I apologize for the phones going off in the background. Forgot to mute that. But um, another uh, bit of information that will help you set yourself aside and a tip. 
to help you land these jobs is to have pertinent information with you. Potentially, again, if you're bringing a clipboard like that, I have a little thin, thin binder or just a ring that has kind of all the little things in there. And in there, I have laminated certificates of insurance. I have my association. So if I'm part of the BBB, if I have a five-star rating on Google, if I have all that, it's all on a page. And I just, hey, here's some information. If you're on the fence, here's some information for us. Just look at it. Sometimes people get a little bit like it's staged to have that. I like to have it with me if somebody does ask. Um, oh, I've never heard of you. Oh, really? Oh, well, let me show you this. This is just a little blurb right now. Our company has 383 five-star reviews on Google. We've been around for quite a while. Or, uh, yeah, you know, um, yeah, the guy I have now, I don't know if he's around. Sometimes we don't know when he's going to show up. But, oh, I completely understand. Sometimes people just aren't very reliable. And that's why, and I show them, and we have our certificate of insurance with us. This is what we do all the time. Here's all of our reviews. Here is our associations. We speak at this conference and that conference. And this is what we do. This is our lives. We aren't doing this for beer money. We're doing this to build a business. And people sometimes like that. So it's nice to have in your arsenal. You don't have to give it out every time. But to be prepared means you're legit. If you have the material and you're prepared, you set yourself aside. And that's really the big part about all of this. No matter what you're selling, is to set yourself aside. The big thing we always talk about here is the USP. We've talked about it. It blew me away how many people do not know what their unique selling point USP is, why anybody chooses them. That's shocking to me. The big thing with that is you need to know why somebody's going to choose you over the next guy, not because you clean a cleaner window. A clean window's clean, they don't know, right? If it's based on price, you're selling yourself way wrong. Like no one wants to race to the bottom. That's not that's not profitable for anybody. And the other thing is the longer you're in business, if you guys are new guys or gals listening right now, it's very hard for you to say no because any dollar makes sense. But eventually you're going to say no to some things. And it's when you have enough money to be able to say no. And that sounds kind of more cocky than it should. But what it's explaining is just the fact that sometimes if somebody says, hey, you know what? I know your bid came in at $49, but uh, we got a guy that's doing it for 19 bucks. Can you match that? Uh, no, we can't, unfortunately. Uh, that's below where we would be at. But if anything ever changes, just know that we're here and we're ready to take over for them, blah, blah, blah. Hand them the information. Again, you've given them the carbonless copy form. They have that no matter what. If it gets to who it's supposed to or not, they still have that info. So that's very, very valuable. Um, another thing to have about um, setting yourself aside, making yourself seem uh, as legit as you are, but also to kind of blow people away, which I'm a really big fan of, especially like commercial, even residential. Like when you throw your packet out there, your USP should blow them away. There should be no question. Like they look at you and they're like, I mean, it would be like if you could somehow hand them a leather bound book with all the information and pictures and reviews and you said this is yours like that would be like wow i can't believe that this company would i understand that that's expensive you don't need to go to those lengths but what you do need is to have yourself tri-fold brochures based on commercial um windows now route themselves have their own selling points right you want to have lots of storefronts you want to have pictures of beautiful storefronts because that's what people want the image they don't care what the name is it could be made up or photoshopped but it has to be nice clean maybe the lighting is right maybe the streets are wet as you got these perfect pictures of storefronts for them whatever but in there it needs to explain your uh, your insurance coverage, it needs to explain that you're as reliable as the post office. It needs to explain weekly uh, schedule. If you're one week, every week, every other week, or four, every four weeks, it needs to explain if it rains on the date that your service normally is. We will get it done that week, regardless, so that you stay on schedule. If you ever have an emergency service or emergency need, eggs, or, um, you know, uh, bird dirt or something or an inspection coming, you can call us at any time and we're willing to come out and blah, 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 whatever your policy is, right? Putting it all out there, but then making a full, glossy, beautiful, colorful trifold brochure is going to seal the deal. 
This is how I hand in that carbonless copy that I told you about. As much as I slide it to them, I say, hey, here's the pricing. Just so you know, they get it and look at it. Every single person, every time is looking at it. As they're doing that, I have my business card, my trifold brochures, and any other information put into that trifold brochure. And I put that down on the table in front of them. And then they look and I slide it back over to them. So now they have this information, they have this, they're overloaded. Like, wow, this guy's legit look at this i mean they may not even open the trifold there because they're not trying to be rude but they have it they have it and you've succeeded in stepping yourself out if the other guy pops in and he's got his bid written down on a napkin that he coughed into and slides it across and says hey i really liked your windows right now man i could really use the money if I... you just blew that guy out of the water with your professionalism that this is a company, this is this is your life, this is what you're doing, and you're building an empire. You have all that, you get them all the information they need, and they're blown away with it, right? So do that. Make that presentation. You have 30 seconds of their ener- their their energy at all, and that's even on the on the the big side of that. Because as soon as you hand it to them, they look at their windows, they think in their brain, I got a guy, I got other things to do. No, nope, I'm not interested, or whatever. Or I'll hand it to the manager. That's usually their thing. Right. If they have all of the information to blow them away, go. Hey, if they're not ready to make the th- the the deal, if they're not the decision maker's not there, if you don't think you can close, they have everything. Doesn't matter if you close then, or even more importantly, on the close uh, on the follow up. And I'm telling you right now, your numbers will average about 10% close on the date of, and that might even be a little bit high. Um, but when you give them all that information, go, oh, yeah, I got to give this to the owner. Or, yeah, you know what? Uh, I'm going to think about it. Well, great. Hey, I absolutely understand. If you have any questions on any of the material that you got, and my numbers are there on the bottom. My name is Jersey. I'm one of the owners. If you're the only owner, I'm the owner. Whatever you have to say. Um, and you know what I'll do is I'll follow up with you in a week, and we'll just see where you're at and if you have any other questions. Or I'll just follow up by the end of the week here and, and catch up with you. Or uh, I'll give you a couple days, and if you have any questions before that, let me know. Otherwise, I'll call you in. Whatever. They don't care. They want you, right? They've said what they've said. Now it's time for you to kind of go. You've made your departure, but you have all that information. And the biggest, biggest, biggest part of this whole process is the follow-up. And that's what you're at now. The biggest part of this is follow-up. If you go out there and you just spread your stuff all over the place, and went, man, that sucked. Well, tomorrow i got to do a bunch of other places. You are going to run out of places because you're not following up. Right, So here is the process. If you follow up, I promise you, you'll get 85% of your closes from that. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Right. So here's what you do is you take that sheet back. Now you put your notes on the back of the sheet. You have all the information on the front with the pricing, with the frequency. You have everything. You even know the rep's name because you asked them their name. It's in the front. Now I put it in what's called a tickler folder. And I don't have one here to show you, but all it is... Go to Office Depot, Office Max, whatever they are now, uh, and find it. It's called a Tickler folder. And what it is, is it's an accordion folder with dates, every date, 1 through 31, all on the top. And each one is a little pocket. And what you do is you go in. Say it's the first of the month. You've gone done all this stuff. At the end of the day, you got all these notes. You separate the ones that closed, of course, that got signatures that you're putting into the schedule, and you have all these ones that didn't close. Now you take them. And you put them in the tickler for uh, one week or however long you're doing it from there. So if it's the first, go to the seventh. Do whatever. Look at the date. Like, well, it's a, you know, it's Mondays or it's a Friday. I don't like Friday. Fridays are bad because uh, business owners are usually gone. Throw it in on Tuesday of next week. Go three days. Go four days. Whatever it is, go in and put those in there. And don't think about them until the next uh, date. And here's what you do with that tickler folder is if you put that in on the first, but it is the first, your first folder should be full from the jobs you bid last week. You're going to call them. And now you're going to just say, hey, this is Jersey from Window Cleaning Resource. Uh, I was just out there uh, last week, actually on the 6th, because it's all written down, and I talked to Amy. and She said that the owner wasn't in right now, but we gave a bid for window cleaning. And I just wanted to follow up. Like, oh, God. Oh, um, yeah, let me see. And they, they'll find it because... The truth of the matter is that they forgot about you. They forgot about you the second you walked out. No matter what presentation you gave them, what kind of colorful, trifold, fancy, anything, they forgot about you. And they thought 
and they put you into a category of the same bucket bobs that showed up before as in like, oh, well, once I say no, I'll never see the guy again. But now, now that you've followed up, you've blown them away. They're, they're like, I've never had a window cleaner follow up before. You followed up and now it's time to sell again. If you talk to Amy and she said the owners are, who am I speaking to now? Oh, this is uh, Doreen. Oh, are you one of the owners? Yeah, I am. Oh, good. Yeah, I met Amy. Super nice lady. Very helpful. Um, I was just talking to her about it. She had mentioned, because I got all this on the notes, that's how I'm remembering. She had mentioned that you had a window cleaner using John's window cleaning. And uh, they come pretty regularly, but uh, you're not terribly happy with them. And I'm just calling to see if there's something we could do to help you out. Well, you know, we've been using them for quite a while. You know, all the objections you could ever get, you're probably used to. Well, you know, uh, what I told Amy, too, was that I would love to get the opportunity to um, do your store. Like I said, we do uh, XYZ and and uh, 1, 2, 3 and all those places right around you. I start naming off every place I do anywhere close to them to build credibility. And I would just love for you to be one of the other ones, too, that uh, I know you don't know us from Adam, and we didn't actually meet yet, but if you do sign up with us, I'm going to give you the first cleaning free, just so you can see who we are, what we do, how we clean, how we present ourselves, and, and uh, you know, the first cleaning's on us, just as a thank you. Oh, wow, well, you know, yeah, we were looking at switching. Well, that's great. You know, it's, is you get to pick the day a week that works best for you. We're actually in the area on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Which one of those days would work better for you? Or I would say usually because I'm going to get the tightest schedule ever. Uh, we're Tuesday this week or next week we're actually there on Thursday. Which which of those dates works better for you? And then from that rotation we're there every two weeks. Or we're there every week. Or we're whatever. Now all of a sudden they're into the point where like, man, they're getting free window cleaning. They have your information. They know who you are. They're getting to know you. You've presented yourself. Now it's time to sell. You've sold them. The other part of that is, is if you don't get a close then and they go, oh, well, I don't know, I'm going to think about it or maybe we're not interested right now. No, no worries. Uh, I completely understand. Um, if anything comes up before, then you have my information. Otherwise, I'll just follow up in a month and see where you're at. A month's time sounds like an eternity. They will always say, oh, yeah, no worries. We'll check back in a month because they're going to the guy's not going to check back, right? But guess what? You're in the work in the slot of number one. You leave it in the slot of number one till next month. Next month when you go. Now, the whole thing is this accordion folder. The tickler file is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And you're going to have so many leads in there to work that you could spend an entire day of doing sales. And if you have um, somebody that is doing that as an actual salesperson, that is how they build up their uh, portfolio, if they will. Right, Because enough no's get to yes. But say you've been doing this for four months. And you have four months of people who say, oh, I don't know, I'll check back with you. You have so many things. You could call for four hours straight. The other thing is if it's been three months, I will stop back in. I'm going to look at it and go, man, it's been three months. I've set it off to the side, set it off to the side. That's where I'm going because I know that all those ones that are in there from three months ago were all because I walked from door to door to door to door to door. I could take that stack and go back to that area and hit door to door to door to door and I'm going to bring that piece with me. Hey, uh, my name is Jersey with XYZ. I just talked to Amy here. It looks like a couple months ago actually and uh, I just wanted to check in with you. I said I'd be checking in with you and I want to stay on top of it. Right? You are going to make them understand that you're there and who is the first person that they think about when Johns decides to mess up or decides to not show up or decides to not be there but every six weeks, right? The big thing on that is that even if you have that um, uh, difference between you, they're going to think of you and you're always going to be in the forefront of the brain, which is very, very cool. And that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to follow up. You're trying to do everything you can to make that impression and that's what you're going to do. So go out there and sell sell all the route you possibly can. The route is so stinking awesome to so do it. But anyway, until I keep babbling, my phone keeps going crazy. Uh, that's our show for this week. I hope you enjoyed it if it's your first time. Uh, if it's not, or if you just want to buy supplies through me because I'm your rep and your awesome sauce, my number, direct, 862-312-2026. Uh, that's my cell. Call me, text me, let me know what's in your cart, anything like that. And if you're on YouTube, go with a thumbs up and comment. Always comment. 
because that helps the YouTube magical algorithms uh, and other people who can get uh, you know hear it. So if you do want to order with us, the code this week, I'm going to give you a code for 5% off. All you need to do is let me know what that is. And the code this week is route is awesome. You tell me that code with your order. You have to put the order in through me. You'll get 5% off just as like a thank you for listening to the podcast. So anything else I could do for you, please let me know. Uh, but until next week, go out there and be epic.